Hello there and generic greetings. This is FTL, which stands for Faster Than Light. Um, although in my case, and probably many, many other people's cases, it could probably be renamed. Um, something a little bit more accurate, maybe. Perhaps, perhaps for the loss, because of, um, well, see attached. Yes, to say that you die once or twice in FTL is a little bit of an understatement, but that's all part of the fun, that's all part of uh, what makes it good, the trial and error, and um, and realising that sometimes a game will just kick you in the teeth. Anyway, what is FTL? Um, I guess it's I guess it doesn't really have a, a sort of genre, it doesn't really conform to any particular genre, it's a spaceship simulator, I guess. Uh, you control a crew, a spaceship, and um, generally have fun. So, that's... That's what I'm going to do. Or oh, that's what I've been doing with this anyway. Um, I think I've got 22 hours played on it so far and I've only had it about 5 days. I got it, I got it, um, well it was the first game I put money to when it came to Kickstarter. It was on Kickstarter and I thought, oh that looks interesting. Put money to it and then totally forgot about it. Um, even though I got emails now and again saying, oh this is the update. Then I finally got an update, oh this is a beta key. Alright then, so I loaded it up and... Um, yeah, it, it sucked 22 hours of my life away like that. So uh, yes, it is a good game, shall we say that? Anyway, what I'm going to do? I'm going to go a new game, and we're just going to we're just going to run through it. Me and you, just me and you together. Although I'll be doing all of the controls of the um, of the spaceship and the crew, and uh, you'll be doing all the sitting there and um, eating trifle or whatever you want to do. Okay, let's go. Okay, so this is the first ship that you get. This is the Kestrel Cruiser. Um, you do get other ships in the game. If I click on list on the left-hand side here, we can see that there are eight other ships. Um, I have unlocked one. The way you unlock these is by doing certain missions in the game, getting certain achievements. Um, and, and it's the, the ships are different. Um, like, for example, this one is about, um, about the guns. And uh, this NG one, for example, um, is about the drones. So they do... They, they are different. Um, and you also get two layouts. See all, all this bit here? This is the internals of your ship. I'll go into that in a bit. Uh, but you do get two layouts again. You have to do achievements to get it. Currently, the ship's called the Kestrel. Let's change that to something a little bit more personal. We'll call it Excalibur. That's wrong. That's spelt completely wrong. Delete it. Pre oh. <laughs> right, alright then. Um, apparently, if you don't put anything in the name box, it calls it the nameless one. Another little surprise. Well done. Let's call it Excalibur. There's loads of little surprises and Easter eggs and things I had to find out. Um, Alright, uh, that's, that's so now it's called Excalibur. We have the crew on the bottom left here. We have Allison, uh, Ekman, and Steli. We can customise these as well. Uh, click Customise. We can change male or female. Oh, it's got the Gears of War syndrome going on. We can change male. Male, broader shoulders. Right. Uh, we'll have Allison. Uh, we'll rename her to Allison uh, Mc. Fly, Alison McFly, uh, Ekman. Oh, it's got Stephen Ekman. Yeah, well, it's Stephen. We'll have you and Steli. Uh, renamed to Steli um, McGun. Yeah, and all in capitals as well, just to make sure that that the know she's about the guns. Okay, so I think that's all the customization done. Uh, actually, no, I can change the difficulty from easy to normal or anything like that. Um, it's actually default. It is on normal, so I'm going to stick with that. Uh, there's no drone system installed. Uh, these are the weapons. We can't change them, and we've got no augmentation. So I think that is it. Uh, let's just start and blow some stuff up. I'll be I'll be blown up one of the two. Um, I, I think a bit of both will happen, not at the same time, you understand. Anyway, I'm going to click start. Right, so this is the sort of first part of the story here. The data you carry is vital to remaining Federation fleet. You need supplies for your journey, so make sure to explore each sector before moving on to the next, but get to the exit before the pursuing rebel fleet can catch up. And that gives you a little tip. Weapons. You can queue up and attack before the weapon is charged, you'll fire when it's charged. Thank you very much. These tips are actually generally useful. Sometimes it will pop up and say something that you, oh, I didn't know that. Anyway, continue. Okay, so this is our ship. This is the Excalibur. You can see the engine are making engine stuff, uh, the shields are projecting shield stuff, and currently we have full health here, and the shields are up. That's all good. Um, I'll have a quick rundown of the UI, and then we'll, be, we'll just carry on. I'm not just going to go, bleh, information, because um, it'll fry your brain, and I'll probably forget what I've spoken halfway through the, the speaking thing. 
yeah, can't even form a sentence there, so how how am I going to explain everything in one go? Okay, so, we got McFly here, this is our crew, uh, we got McFly currently in the pilot seat at the front, that's what that symbol means. Uh, Ekman, you can go on the shields, If I can just, you can just click on the guys and then tell them to, to move. Uh, he goes there and starts typing on that console. If you look at the bottom left here, you can now see that there's a little icon there, uh, that basically means it's now manned by crew. If I take him out, it'll disappear. There you go, and back in. There you go, pops back up. That's because when you've got someone uh, manning individual systems, or certain systems, so the engine room, um, well, the, the engines, the uh, the guns, and the shields, it, it, they become slightly better because obviously they can say, no, don't reroute power to spam generation, Re reroute it to shields and that sort of thing. Anyway, um, we're going to put uh, McGun in the guns, surprisingly. Put the weapons online. There we go. As you can see, when I put the weapons online, they pop out the front there, and that starts charging. You can see the little charge meters here. Weapons have a recharge rate when before they can fire again. Um, oh, you'll also notice that I've got no more available power in the reactor. Uh, the reactor only produces so much power, um, so you, you can't just power everything on the ship. So if I, if I turn them off, you can see I've got like three power. Turn them on. No more power at all. Um, but, I mean, I could turn that off and put it to uh, engines. And th this is where the whole, you know, reroute re power to shields, reroute re power to weapons, reroute re power to spam generation, and that sort of thing comes from. Um, I don't know why I'm saying that a lot. Um, on the right-hand side here, we've got subsystems. Uh, you can see that's the pilot seat. That's the cameras, uh, the sensors inside here. And this is door control. So we can open all the doors like that and close them all. If you press it twice, it opens all the doors. And um, vents, vents, um... 40% of your oxygen into space. That's a good time to mention this bit here. Um, the, ox the evade chance is, is your chance to evade attacks. When you upgrade the engine or your crew gets better, uh, you, you can evade more attacks. Oxygen. Um, very often your crew will just die from lack of oxygen, or at least at least mine do. Um, this is the auto generation here. If that gets knocked out, oxygen will slowly start going down. Uh, you can open these airlocks to space uh, and vent, vent oxygen out. Uh, that's good for... Um, for borders and fires and that sort of thing. Anyway, I think I've talked enough about these systems. What I'm going to do is jump to the next system and we'll see what happens. So, we click jump on here on the FTL drive and we get the beacon map. This is where we choose where we want to go. You can see I'm currently, um, well, orbiting this location here. This is just an icon to show where we are. I've got two locations. Both of them are unvisited. I'm in sector one on the civilian sector. Um, that will change as we get to the exit. Our objective, basically, is to get to the exit. Um, and uh, every now and again, uh, this will start getting chewed up by the rebels, so we need to run away. So which way do you want to go? Do you want to go down this way? Or do you want to go that way? Or do you want to go uh, all the way that way? I'm going to go down and see what's down here. So I just click on this one here and we jump. Jump the ship! Okay, so you can see this is the new location. Uh, every time you jump to a new location, you get like a little random event, some little pop-up. Uh, this one, for example, is a unidentified ship is badly damaged and still being assaulted by a space pirate. The victim begins a distress message until the pirate cuts off and offers to split the bounty if you sit tight. So, I have two options. I, I can either accept the bribe from this pirate of two missiles. Uh, which I've only got eight. Uh, one drone part, which I don't really care about because I don't have drones, and ten scrap. Scrap is used to repair and rearm and just upgrade your ship. Um, so, uh, there's no right, honestly, there is no right or wrong answer to this. You do what you feel is right. Um, you do get a bit of a role playing experience, or at least I do, because I'm like, you know, no, oh, I wouldn't want to do that. I'm going to try and be the hero and attack the pirate. That's what I would normally pick. Um, I'm going to do that. I'm going to be try and be the hero and attack the pirate. Click that one. The pirate ship stops its pursuit and locks some weapons to my ship. Oh, goody gumdrops and great. Okay, there we go. Pause the game. Press space to pause the game. What I tend to do is, as soon as something like that happens, wham, hit space, pause the game, and then think about it and queue up your orders. Because the game can be unforgiving and you want to really think about what you're doing. So, this is the enemy ship. Uh, it has some sh it has some hull, it has one shield, I have one shield as well. Um, what guns has it got? You, you don't, you get to learn what these are. Um, so that's a bomb launcher uh, and that is a pulse laser. I believe, I, I'm, pr I'm probably wrong, but you get to learn what these are. Um, all these bits here, these are the individual systems of the enemy ship. Um, we can see the status of them here. So they're all green, which means they're all okay. Um, class is a rock scout, relationship is hostile, well obviously. What I'm going to do is, this, this is my weapons here, so they're both online, they're currently charging as you can see, obviously it's paused so they're not current, they're not going up. I'm going to click on the Artemis and I get this little icon, I'm going to target their shield generator. These Artemis is a missile system and if you mouse over it you can tell, you can see what each weapon does. So this one for example fires one missile, does two damage and pieces, all shields. So the plan is that that missile goes straight off and hits into the shield generator and turns the shield off ready for the burst laser to fire. I'll unpause it and see what happens. Okay, so they're charging their weapons there. Um, hopefully my missile will fire. 
There it goes. And hits the shield generator. Pause. Okay. What I'm going to do is select my burst laser and target their weapons. So when I unpause it, it will fire. However, they've just fired that bomb and their weapons as well. So they're going to be incoming as soon as I unpause it. Ready? Ready? Okay. You have proved sufficient match for the pirates. They are powering up their FTL and trying to get away. Okay, continue. So they're trying to get away. For one, I will not allow that. Right. That, 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 that just ain't cricket. Attacking a civilian, then attacking me, then trying to run away. That just isn't happening. But we have a bit of a problem because my ship is now damaged. We can see that uh, my shields are now orange, my weapons are now orange, and my helm is now red. That's because of the damage that I've sustained. Oh, and I've also lost uh, my shields are down, and um, I've also lost a couple of hull points. So, what are we going to do about that? Well, if the crew are inside the actual location, they will attempt to repair it. You can see this little line there. Uh, that little uh, little yellow line that's almost not there. Uh, that'll slowly go up and repair the system. Once they're repaired, uh, it'll put the, the the energy back into it. When the when when the damage it puts the it, it doesn't it sort of puts the energy back into the reactor so you're not using it because obviously the the system's down. What I'll do, I'll put it into the engine because I might as well while they're getting repaired. Um, I'll unpause it. Um, and hopefully they'll start repairing it. You can see the yellow bar going up as they're repairing it. Right, I'll pause it again. Uh, Artemis is ready to fire. I'm going to target their engine and let it fire and hopefully take it out. There we go. So they've got no engine, no shields, and no weapons. I think there's a word for this. I think there's a word for that ship. It is a profanity, um, and it begins in, it, it ends in ucht, right? And that's what that ship is, because he's got nowhere. Look, he's got one, he's got no shields, no weapons, no... No guns, no nothing, one whole point. Yeah, I think he's going to die. Okay, uh, there you go. You can see my shields have uh, have now been repaired, and they automatically power back up. So there we go, the back up. Um, I'm going to wait a little bit until my burst laser is. Ah, oh, no, I'm not. Do I wait? See, I, I have the choice of waiting. Uh, I have the choice of waiting to the burst laser is, is well to, to the weapons are repaired and then fire the burst laser or fire the Artemis the problem is that Artemis do use missiles which is up here I only got six left so you do want to you do want to be a little bit conservative when it comes to these missiles especially early on um, he's about to fire do I eh, nah sack it I'll wait until it's repaired I'll wait um, Put the energy back into them and wait until he's recharged. This is where I blow up and and, and going and, and go absolutely insane because I didn't kill him. Oh, good grief! Okay, okay. So that was obviously a mistake. <sighs> What's happened is he he shot a pierced my shields, damaged my engine, and damaged the weapons. Not only that, it's caused two fires to uh, to, to to ignite inside the weapon system. Uh, just just thinking about it. Where's, where's the last place you want fire? Probably near them big pile of rockets. Okay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to get this guy that's currently in the shields. There, select him and tell him to go to the weapon area because he'll help put out the fire. I'm also going to tell my Artemis to just blow their ship up because I'm, I'm done with it. Goodbye. Boom. And there goes their ship. Pirate explodes, leaving you behind a substantial collection of useful scrap and material. You go to examine the ship you just saved, so I'll continue. I'll get nine scrap from blowing that up, that's good. The pirate's victim quickly jumps away before you have a chance to speak to them. Okay, continue. So the outcome of that is that my guy's almost dead because of the fire. Uh, I do, I, oh yes, I do have fire I I inside the weapons bay, which is um, not, oh yes, that's spreading. Okay, I'm going to tell the pilot to uh, get off, get off her ass and um, go and repair that for me. Oh, this isn't good. You know what? You know what? I have a better plan. Um, there's another way of dealing with fires and I'll show you that now. Let's put everybody just elsewhere for now. Pause the game and we'll open that door, that door, that door. That door, that door, that door, that door, that door. Uh, and just vent, just vent all the oxygen from the ship. Um, because fires can't, can't, can't be, can't, well, fires can't be fire without oxygen. Yes, they, they, they breathe, they, they need fire to breathe. Um, not that the living beings, you understand, it's just that that's how fire works. They need oxygen to, to be. So, there, vent the oxygen, no more fire. Um, now we have to wait a bit because if I send people in here, I'll do it, do it now. Um, they start losing health because there's no there's no atmosphere. So I'll wait a little bit. Um, you can see when it goes red, that means there's there's little there's very little atmosphere. It slowly goes from red back up to white. And I think that'll be all right for now. Let's put all three of them back in there and repair it. Uh, yes, there's enough oxygen. They, they'll be fine. Okay, so there's that one repaired. That's good. Let's send them all to the engine bay and get them to repair that. 
Okay, that's all good. Uh, everything's repaired now. Uh, as you can see, we've got uh, McFly, who's currently a little bit damaged. I'm going to put you in the... What, is it called Medical Bay? Uh, yeah, it's called Med Bay, so I'll put them in the Med Bay, and we can see that that heals there up nicely. Okay, you can go back to your pilot seat. Uh, McGun, go back to your gunny area, and uh, uh, Ekman, you go back to shields. Oh, I like that. Uh, yeah, look at that. When you go from the pilot seat, uh, it turns the engines on off. Lovely. Um, your jump, your FDL drive does have a recharge rate, um, and you need a pilot in it and also power in the power in the uh, engines for it make it work. So if I just turn, if I just pull, pull all the uh, energy off it, it, turns the engines off. Obviously, as you would expect. Right, let's put my weapons back on and let's jump to the next area. Uh, so we've got two two uh, two unexplored areas. I'm going to go to this one. Jump. Okay, this is a good one. A pirate ship was lying in wait inside the asteroid field and medium moves into attack. So let's turn and fight. That's our only option. So, an asteroid field. Um, danger, you're in an asteroid field. Periodic asteroids will strike your ship. Really? Really? Why, why didn't you just, when you pilot the wards, go, um, Gov, there's a there's an asteroid field over there. Well, well don't go in it then. <laughs> just, just don't go in it. Oh, I wish I knew that. Okay, right, so, th this is the ship I'm versing. I, I don't have a choice. Um... Yeah, I guess I'm just going to have to cue the Atmos onto the shields and the burst laser onto the weapons and just unpause it and see what happens. As we can see, there's, periodically, we are getting asteroids slamming into the ship. In fact, that's an idea. I'm going to change the burst laser to fire on the shields as well. The idea is to knock their shields down and let the rocks do the work. Okay, not good. Okay, so, um, that's, um, well, that, that, that would be fire. Yes, that would be fire. What I'm going to do is put that fire out now. I'm going to tell these two to put the fire out. Um, that, that that was missiles and a couple of rocks and a couple of other things. Yes. Oh, no, this is not going to be good. Okay, so, again, it, it's going well. Every, everything is going lovely and well. I mean, you know, I've got no oxygen supply anymore. That's that sort of, that stopped working. And um, apparently the, the med bay is out of commission as well. Not, not 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 the two things you really want out of commission, really, is it? Uh, the weapon, sorry, the O2 and the, uh, the med bay. What I'm going to do is fire my Artemis at their um, weapon system. Yes, fire. Fire the Artemis and destroy it. Oh. There we go. A rock's just slammed into the shield generator. <laughs> I'll have to give you some of their goods and don't destroy the ship. They're going to give me two fuel, one missile, and nine scrap. <gasps> nah, I will not accept surrender. You attacked me. You can just do one. Put more fires out. Repair. Repair the bloody ship. We'll send McFly back to the pilot seat and we'll send Ekman straight into the weapons. We need you to repair the weapons uh, and we're going to finish them off now with the Artemis. Firing into the shields. Boom! And there goes their ship. <laughs> the ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful material. Two fuel, two missiles, and 12 scraps. So a little bit more than what they were offering me. See? They, 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 see? They, they were just holding out. Um, the, you know, you can actually say, okay, accept the bribe, and sometimes you get more that way than actually blowing them up. It, again, it's it's just a little bit random. Um, oh, what I might do is actually repair the oxygen supply. Do humans need oxygen? Yeah, I think they do, yeah, yeah. Okay, so the oxygen's back up. Uh, <laughs> periodically, we've got asteroids slamming into the shield. Uh, luckily enough, it, it's enough. The, the regen is enough to keep the shields up. Um, so if one strikes uh, any second now, there we go. It takes it down. Uh, luckily, it'll recharge before the next one hits. Um, although, <laughs> I wouldn't want to look out the window. Okay, the FDL is recharged. We can now jump. Okay, so we we've got we got one, two, three, four unexplored locations in a store that we can go to. I'm going to go back over, which might sound stupid, but um, I'm going to go there. Let's do this. Once you arrive, your screen lights up with warnings. A nearby pirate seems to have advanced hacking tools and they have tried to shut down our engines. Your crew manages to keep them barely operational and you move in to attack. Sounds a good idea to me. Ah, uh, there we go. We can see that there's a blue line through the box of the engines, which means that's what they've hacked off. Um, with their advanced hacking skills. Although, to be fair, I didn't actually have power um, <laughs> placed in placed in that anyway. Did I? Did, I can't remember. Did I? Hang on, let me check. No, no, I didn't. I didn't have power in that. So th their advanced hacking has turned off my ability to put power in it. <laughs> Slow clap to you, son. Right, let's use the Atmos on the shield generator and our burst laser two on their weapons and turn them into sawdust that's in space. It's not really made of wood. Um, metal dust, yeah, that one. 
Right, burst laser. Recharge before the shields go up. Recharge, recharge. Good, good. And they're gone! With the parachute destroyed, your engines come online again. Um, t t to be honest, they were already sort of working anyway. Uh, there was flame coming out with them and... Uh, yeah, okay. You salvage what you can from the debris. Two fuel, 16 scrap. Good, good. Okay. Uh, ship is half damaged. I think we need to repair this. Uh, let's jump and we'll jump to the store. A transmission from the nearby planet indicates an outpost below which offers supplies to travellers. You send down an away party to check it out. Okay, so this is the store. This is where we can buy and sell things. Uh, what I'm going to do is fix all on the ship. There we go. I'm back up to maximum hullage, but I have lost uh, a lot of my scrap. So, I would love a heavy laser uh, and I would love a pike beam, but I, I don't have the... I don't have the cash. We can sell some of the stuff we have here, so I can sell an Artemis or the Burst Laser. Probably not the probably not the best thing to do in the world, since I do need uh, some guns. Right, so you can also buy systems for the ship, so we've got a drone control and a cloaking generator. Uh, both of them, unfortunately, are, are way more expensive than than this, and, and, and this station doesn't accept crew. Not that I found one that accepts crew, you understand, it's just um, I can't really melt the crew down and, and, and send them at. Um, I think morale's going to be a bit low now, isn't it? Okay, let's jump to the uh, let's jump to the next part. Uh, where should we go? Which bit? Top or bottom? I'm going to go to the top. Go. Upon completing your jump, you receive a message from a nearby ship. Greetings and welcome to our beacon. For a small fee, we'll let you continue on your way. So I can either pay their toll of 16 scrap or reject their offer. <gasps> I'm gonna shoot you in the face! Too bad, you will regret your decision. I don't think so. Artemis, fire against their shields. Burst laser, fire against their weapons. And there we go. In one strike, they have no shields and no weapons. I think I have the upper hand. I'm gonna turn to auto fire, so all it'll do is when it recharges, it'll constantly fire on the bit I've targeted. There we go, and it goes. Uh, one fuel, one drone. 18 scrap, that is good. Let's go to the next bit down here, go. They are powering up their FTL. If they get away, they will no doubt warn the fleet of your position. Ah, damn and blast, right, okay. So I need to take out their engine. I'm gonna target their shields with the Artemis, hopefully take that down, and then burst laser two, the engine. Uh, well, I damaged the engine. There you go, you can see it's now orange instead of, instead of green. So, it hopefully won't be able to jump. I'm I'm just going to keep firing, to be honest. Keep firing. Okay, so I managed to use the last Artemis missile to take out their weapons, so I'm not getting shot at. And, uh, oh, the, oh, the engines are also down. All right, so we just need to keep firing. And hopefully, hopefully, uh, ho hopefully they won't jump away. Keep firing. Fire more. There we go. The ship breaks apart, blah, blah, blah. Three fuel, one drone, 17 scrap. No missiles again, though. Ugh. Right, since amount of missiles, I can't put it into the Artemis. There you go. If click, it just, it just, just doesn't turn on at all. Uh, so I'm going to put it into the engine. That increases my evade chance and the recharge rate of my jump drive. You can see if I turn it down, uh, the evade chance goes to 10% if I turn it off. Well, the engines go off, surprisingly enough. Okay, let's uh, go to the FGL and we'll jump to the next area. Oh, yeah, here, here we go. You can see the um, this, this wave here is the line of the Rebel fleet as it's coming in. You want to stay ahead of the white line, definitely. The red line you can sometimes get away with. It's still advisable logic to keep ahead of both, so I'm just going to go straight that way. Scanners indicate that a battle is taking place nearby. It seems that someone is under attack by space pirates. I can either aid the ship or stay out of it. Be a hero, attack the pirates. Oh god, that's not good. Uh, okay, I'm going to vent this one, uh, and we're going to tell that, that guy to put that one out. I think that's, I think that's a good plan. Uh, keep firing. Oh no, this is not going to be good. Uh, yeah, this is this ship's getting damaged a lot. Uh, you can see that this bit here, uh, this is like a reinforcement of the shield. I'm not entirely sure what you call it, but basically, when when that's there, it means missiles don't even go through. Uh, I, I, and unfortunately, I'm already out of missiles anyway, so I'm just having to work it through with my laser. Oh, that ain't good. Fire, fire burns, right? Fire's like a yeah, fire burns. Um, let's just. Oh, 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 great, oh, great, good golly and gosh. Okay, in the shield uh, generator now, the shield generator is gone, and um, there's also a massive crack in the hull which leaks out oxygen. So I'm going to tell these two to go and repair it. Um, the fire hopefully will go out because I'm, get, I'm getting rid of all the oxygen in the back. I don't really want to unpause it. I, don't, I think I'm just going to sit here. 
do, 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 do. So how's the family? Is everything is everything going all right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, really? Right. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, but 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 everything's all right. Yeah, oh good. I'm gonna have to unpause it, Anna. All right then. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, the ship isn't doing it isn't doing too well. Uh, uh, right. Okay. Fires out. Close the doors. Uh, target my weapons onto their weapons and hopefully take them out before the fire. It didn't happen. It didn't happen. Oh, oh no. Okay. So uh, shields are got. No, that guy's dead. Um, uh, oh, this is not good. Uh, I think this is me. Got. That's me gone. No. One last explosion, Max. Your fate is your ship is torn apart. Great. Okay, restart. Right, let's try this again. Fresh ship. Uh, weapons are all online. Shields online. Coffee machine online. Let's jump to uh, there. Go. You arrive in the system to see a pirate ship pursuing a civilian ship. You detect a message from the civilian ship on distress frequency. This might be the same. This might be the same pirate ship that just killed me. Uh, it. <gasps> it's the same ship. Well, it's not the same ship, but it's the same sort of ship, so I'm going to attack it anyway. Engage, engage, engage. I have missiles. Missiles for the shield generator burst for their weapons. Go, fire, fire faster. Fire, fire, fire. Anytime you want. Fire, 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 fire. Good start. Shields down, and the weapons are offline. Let's just keep firing. The pirate ship breaks apart. You hasten to contact the civilian ship. I've got a missile, fuel, and civilian scrap. Good, good. Contact the civilian ship. Uh, badly damaged in the battle. Most of the crew accepts your offer. Dropped off a nearby station. One officer join your crew. Welcome aboard, sir. Welcome aboard. Oh, Emma. Well done. Let's go to ship. Emma what? Emma. Uh, just just Emma, apparently. Emma. Well, welcome aboard, Emma. I'll give you the full tour. Uh, this is storage space here. There's nothing in here. Uh, this is door control. Uh, the door you just come through. Well, well this place controls that. Uh, this is where we store all of the security cameras and footage and things like that. Uh, this is the med bay. Um, it, it, it's fine as it is at the moment, so you know, don't go doing anything to it. Don't press too many buttons. Uh, in here is uh, the weapon bay. Please don't trip over the missiles. That would be good. Uh, if you knock one over, just um, well, just 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 tell us if it blows up. Uh, this is the oxygen. Uh, generation system, all the all the gas bottles and all that, they're full of oxygen. So if you if it's it's if it's hard to breathe, just turn the valve a bit more and you'll be all right. Um, and this is where you'll be working. This is the this is the engine compartment. So that thing in the middle, if that keeps spinning, then everything's good. If it stops spinning, it's your job to keep it to, well to, to make it more 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 spin. Yeah. So if if it stops, you, you make it start. Okay. Right. Good. She knows her job. Uh, everyone else knows the job. Uh, jump to the next place. Your jump leads to a remarkable binary star system. The view is beautiful, but there is nothing around. Uh, nothing really much to say on that. And th what binary? What binary system? It just stars. There's nothing here. All right, this is unfortunate. This because we've got two stars right at the start, and I've got no scrap to do it. So what I'm going to do is, uh, 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 well, I guess go there. A small rebel ship is docked at a small space station. You try and lay low, but it spots you. Power up weapons. Just, just, just a little bit of news for you. I already had weapons powered up. <laughs> I'm gonna kill them. Okay, they're shooting at me. Nice, is out the window now. Oh, by the way, Emma, your new job is now to repair the O2. Just, just, you know, the, uh, the gas bottles that have fallen over, just pick them up. Yeah, yeah, pick them up with that spanner, yeah. The enemy ship appears to be powering up its FTL drive. It's trying to escape. <laughs> Not on my watch. Fire. Yeah, it's, it's got no more FTL. <laughs> Unlucky for him. Uh, I've turned the atmos off. I want to save me missiles a little bit. Uh, fire against the weapons. Bye. Uh, where to go now? We could go back over. Although this big warning sign with a red, red arrows and a big red line. I don't think I'll, I don't think I'll go that way. To be honest, I think I'll go to there. You come across a pirate in hot pursuit of an unidentified ship. You quickly receive a transmission from the pirate. Stay out of this fight, and we'll make it worth your while. Two missiles, one drone part, eleven scrap. Um, be the hero! Let's kill him! Mr. McGunn, prepare to fire. Fire! Okay, Mr. McGunn has taken a hit. I'm going to get three people in there to try and repair that because my burst laser is now offline. I can't turn it back on. Repair it quickly. There we go. Repaired. Uh, as we can see, we're still repairing it though. Uh, everything's back online. Pause it again. Poor to Mr. McGon. No, keep them keep, keep him where he is. Emma back in the control room of the engine bay. Firing the Artemis, and then I'll fire the burst laser once the shields are down. Fire! Go, go, go! Shields down, weapons gone. Yeah, they're, they're not gonna last much longer, I think. Let's just target the O2 because we can. No, no, let's target the pilot seat. Yeah, we don't like leather ones. 
Pirate Explodes, leaving behind the essential collection of 19 scrap. And examine the ship we saved. You were too late. The whole bridge deprived the crew of oxygen during a fight with a pirate. You salvage what you can. 12 scrap. That's not very nice. Ah. But still 12 scrap for me. Right, next place. An advanced rebel automated ship remains stationed near a small rebel space station. Since it's indicated storage vessel for military goods, either attack it to get the storage cache or avoid provoking. Attack! All oh, maximum violence, I think. I think that's the way to go. See, this could have been a really good or really bad thing because this storage cache might be empty. Oh, my missiles just missed, which is always good. Uh, yes, this, this storage cache could be completely empty or it could be full of goodies, which is, um, you know, it's a gamble you take, really. It is a complete gamble. Um, although this ship was absolutely easy to destroy, so uh, the gamble might have paid off. Uh, 15 scrap, that's good. And... Ah. Uh, yeah, there you go. It's completely abandoned. So as I said, uh, sometimes it's a gamble because there's nothing in that. But I did get 15 scrap and didn't lose anything, so that's good. Right, anyway, 91 scrap, that's not too bad. I'm going to click ship up here. And this is all the ship systems where we can upgrade. What I'm going to do is upgrade the power bar by one. Uh, shields by two. Uh, and suck it, another power, there we go, accept, so I've only got one left, but I can put another two power into shields, and there we go, I have another shield, so, two more shields, harder, harder to destroy, hopefully won't have to spend as much on repair, hopefully it'll pay off, might not, might, we'll see. Alright, here we go, we got a distress call here on the beacon map, so we can either go there, and uh, it could be good, or it could be some pirate being a bit dodgy. Um, either way, I'm going to go there and see what's there. Okay, so that's the distress call. Human mind colony. A disease is spread. Oh, God. Uh, I can either send in my crew or ignore the request and move on. Let's do, let, let's do, the, pro, let's do the right thing. Let's send in the crew to control the crowds. Um, you have no choice but... Oh, oh. With little... Uh, your infected becomes subdued. Nothing longer. Uh, however you leave. Crew represents sign of infection. You have no choice but to leave them on the station. Oh. Um... Oh, the, the the pilots. Oh. Oh, the um, the, the pilot was infected, and we've had to leave him behind. Um, Emma, uh, about your job description, we, we we've rewritten your contract. You now pilot the ship. Well done, promotion. Uh, you literally gone from the back ranks to the front ranks in in, in very short order. All right, let's go to the exit. Let's let's leave this sector. Oh, sorry. So everybody wave out the out, out, out the port side. Just, you know, bye. We're going to go now. Okay, so we're at the exit here. What I'm going to do is jump to the next sector. We now get this sector tree. Uh, you can see that there's two ways to go. We've now got the pirate control sector, which you can see the rough path it would take us. Um, every, one of these, every one of these circles represents uh, one of these systems we've just been in. Um, obviously, red is hostile, green is civilian, and uh, purple is nebula. Do I want to go to the pirates? Or to the uh, the Zoltan controlled sector. I think the pirate sounds a bit more interesting. Yar. Okay, I'm not convinced this sector is going to be very friendly. Um, immediately there's a distress call. So, let's check it out. Um, this could go either way. A ship without life forms within a nearby dense asteroid field is giving off a distress call. Shall we investigate it? It could be dangerous. Uh, search the ship. Ah. Oh. You find what appears to be bits of a derelict ship coated with ice or crystal before you have a chance to dock. A few asteroids get past your shields and partially damage your engines. You have to pull out. So I've damaged my ship for nothing. And it's it was a gamble. Everything is a gamble in this game. Okay, uh, let's go to the next place. Oh, good. Go more asteroids. Well, that, that's what I wanted, yeah. You're now in an asteroid belt discover that rebel automated scout has been around state. Yeah, all right, okay. So not only is is there asteroids everywhere, I've also uh, got a rebel to, to deal with. Okay, right. Artemis, tag at the shields. And uh, uh, the burst laser can also tag at the shields. Balls to it. Fire, fire, fire. <laughs> Let's see that again. Yes. Uh, thank you, Mr. Rock. Uh, it's just <laughs> the the asteroid actually destroyed their shield generator for me. Good, good. Well, that ain't good. Um, fire, kill them. Kill them, kill them fast. Kill them faster than that. Uh, I also need to repair the helm. Right, they're gone. Ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap. One missile, one drone part, 24 scrap. That isn't too bad. 
not too bad at all. Right, you see the FTL drive is actually still recharging. Normally when there's nothing left in this in that sector of space, it'll just go blink and fully recharge instantly just for, for sort of ease of use. But when there's dangers about like this, um, it, it makes you recharge because, you know, if, if you're in a fight with the, the enemy, for example, and then your shields drop and then you, you actually destroy them, the rocks could still kill you. But, um, you know, my shields are... My shields are pretty good, so uh, I think I'm gonna laugh and jump away. <laughs> this beacon has been placed too close to a super giant class M star. The ship will gradually overheat until you get out of here or die. Oh. Okay then, a pirate apparently oblivious to the danger of the sun moves into a gauge. Okay, so just a, just a quick recap, just just in case you missed that last uh, couple of minutes there. Um, first, we come across a, a stranded ship in a sort of, in a couple of a, in an asteroid belt. Uh, we try to help them out, and rocks hit the side of my ship. We then go to another sector of space, which happens to be filled with rebel automated ships and rocks. And now I've jumped next to a star. Yes, I think Emma needs to be fired. Okay, let's just do what we can. Fire against the shields, burst laser against their, uh, their weapons. Yes, we will fire against their weapons. Now, go. Fire, fire more. Okay, that's not good. Solar flare imminent. Here we go. This is where I get hit with lots and lots of flame. Emmy ship appears to be powering its FBL and trying to escape. Really? Okay, there we go. The solar flares cause fires there. What I'll do is I'll just open the door and vent the atmosphere out. That'll do me. Um, their ship really doesn't look too clever at all. <laughs> I'm just gonna... Okay, so the, the weapons are gone, the O2's gone, the door control's gone, the, uh, the shields are gone. I'm just gonna shoot their engine, to be honest. What? What? Okay, they jumped away. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna sit here and take, uh, take another solar flare. Yeah, why not? Why not indeed? Yeah, yeah, I'll take that. Yeah, lovely, yeah. Let's just get away before I get burnt to a crisp. One of the Rebels are made scouts. Uh, okay, cool. So I've got a scout to deal with and a fire. So you put the fire out. Oh, and they've got a drone now. As you can see, this little drone. It's an anti-ship drone. It's just going to fly around trying to shoot me. Hopefully my shields are actually powerful enough to stop it. Okay, they have lots of weapons. Oh, good grief. This is not good at all. Okay, um, you, you know what? Just start repairing things, please. Just everybody start repairing things. Everything's offline now. Just, just... Okay, I managed to take out their drone control, so that drone will just be dead in space, which is good. That's what you want to do. Uh, let's fire against their weapons. That that fire is spreading, isn't it? It really is starting to spread. There goes the ship. I uh, get two fuel, two missiles, fifteen scrap. Good, good. Right, put the fire out, please. That would be that would be well, that would be a good idea, I think. That would be a good idea. This fire is tenacious. It just keeps coming between this area and that area. Come on, put it out. Okay, so so every, everything's back to normal now. The fire's put out. Um, yeah, we're still damaged. We really need to find a store. Um, there's a distress call. I'll go and visit it. I'm sure it's friendly. You have a distress beacon near the small asteroid belt. The ship find a pirate markings partially crushed between two large rocks. I'm not falling for this again. Destroy the ship. They're just pirates. Oh. Pirates not worth saving. Fire a few volleys before you can scrap the remaining the pirate. Oh, another. All right, all right, okay, so another pirate ship just turned up. Um, is now going to try and destroy me. I say try. It's not going to. Let's just let's just let's just kill him. Uh, target shields. Target uh, weapons. Go fire. Good start. Weapons offline and their shields are offline. Good, good. Let's burst fire against their shields again. Considering more well armed than I thought. Ha <laughs> ha We surrender. Yes. Right, do I accept the missiles and drone parts and scrap for the surrender, or do I destroy them? I like missiles, so I think I'm going to accept their surrender. Yeah, you you live for now, pirate. I'm going to move on and, and run away because my, my hole is re really, really, really full of holes. Run away! Ah, another scout. Let's engage him. Okay, that's not what you want to see. Two huge cannons just point out the front. Let's just, just, just kill him, kill him, kill him, quick. Hmm, I, I'm not convinced that this guy's going to put up too much of a challenge. Um, considering he doesn't have a shield generator, um, and he's dead. I mean, that, that's, that, you see that explosion, that, that, that sort, of, sort of indication to me that he wasn't going to put up too much of a fight. Uh, two missiles, one drone parts, and some scrap. Not bad. Still haven't found a star. Upon completing the jump, receive a message from a nearby ship. Greetings and welcome to our beacon. Oh, one, one of you tall guys again. No, I'm going to reject your offer and fight you. Ah, oh, that's not good. Uh, this this icon here, this one there, that means that's like a teleporter, crew teleporter, uh, transportation system thing. Uh, but, but basically, the end result, whatever you want to call it, the end result is that they've just teleported someone uh, in the front of my ship and they're now trying to kill Emma. So, Mr. McGunn, uh, no, 
Mr. Ekman, you can go and help out, help and defend. Right, there we go. Uh, I, although it wasn't the most efficient thing to do, I have actually uh, destroyed their teleportation system. So, not not what, what they normally do is beam someone over, fight a bit, and if they think they're going to lose, they'll beam them back off. Guess what? That can't happen now. I think I'll just shoot him in the back. There we go, and he's dead. Uh, but they regret that. Oh, crap, that's not good. Can you hear that hissing? Yes. Oh, that's not good. I think I think they're trying to destroy my engines. Right, let's go and uh, let's go and fix that. Their ship explodes, giving me some stuff. Missiles, drone parts, and scrap. Good, good. Okay, so they're trying to repair this, but there's also a big hole in the ground. What I'll do is I'll open these ones here, and that'll let oxygen in into this room, and it'll it makes it's it's basically this doesn't decompress as fast, um, although it doesn't seem to be doing much. There we go. There we go. Now that the now that the hole's fixed, that's draining all the uh, all the oxygen. No, it, it's not killing everybody. Yeah. Right, everyone, doctors, check-up time. Check-up time. Right, everyone's had the check-up, everyone's healthy. Uh, let's jump to the next bit. I find a store! Repair everything. Okay, so I, I wouldn't mind a drone control or a crew teleporter or maybe a defense drone system repair or a defense 2 drone, but um, I haven't got the cash anymore. I guess I'll just buy fuel then. Okay, I just jumped to the exit and I've got this. You recognize a ship well-known slave trader. He hails you and offers you laborers for cheap. Attack the slave of scum. No way. Oh, they've just been aboard my ship. Let's go and kill him. Good, good. They are all gone. Let's go back into position one and keep firing. Goodbye. Oh, crap. There was loads of slaves on that, wasn't there? Uh, a slave ship is destroyed, they won't continue our devil trade, but many well lives were probably lost on that ship. Oh! Uh, before I jump, I'm going to upgrade my sensors. What that'll do is that'll allow me to see inside the enemy ship. Yeah, you'll see in a little while. Next sector, uh, Mantis Homeworld or Rebel Control Sector. Let's go more rebels! Oh, more, more rocks, lovely. Uh, asteroid belt. Okay, so now we've got a cloaking double shielded automated scout. This is good. Uh, there you go, there's my new sensors working well. Uh, you can see inside their ship, so... Uh, you can see all all the all the rooms in here. The problem is, however, that this is not a automated ship, so normally you'd be able to see people walking around. Um, but obviously, this, since this is an automated ship, it doesn't have any uh, O2 or people walking. So, um, pre pretty much doesn't tell me anything. Right, their shield generators down. Oh uh, yeah, rocks, lasers, everything. They're dead. Uh, ship explodes. Oh, and I've just got a drone, an anti-ship drone Mark One. Shame I don't have a, a drone system. Yeah. Right, let's jump to the next area. Ooh, a star! Star! Okay, so this is a star. I'll repair the one damage that I've got. Uh, I'll sell that anti-ship drone because I don't have a drone bear. Oh, we can hire some more crew, actually. We've got Sambu, which is a Mantis. we got uh, Lao Jun, which is an NG, and Jeff Bars, which is an NG as well. The different races, there's a couple of different races in the game. Uh, Sambu is a Mantis. Well, what's basically a mantis men? Um, I, I don't really need to describe it. When you you can see the little picture, it, you, you know it's a green mantisy type thing. Uh, as you can see, they've got different traits. So humans don't have any traits; they're just all round generic. Um, it's got double movement speed in combat. Uh, one half times, oh, one point two times move speed and half repair speed. Uh, the NGs are repair repair speed is doubled and combat damage is halved. Um. I'm going to buy Jeff Bars and NG because, to be honest, I just keep getting blown up. You're now new, the new engine guy. Actually, while we're talking about crew, let's have a look at my current crew. So, Mr. Ekman, you can see that he's got skills. So, obviously, the top one's piloting, next one's engines, next one's shields, next one weapons, next one repair, next one, well, the last one, I guess, would be combat. Um, he's done a little bit of combat and repair, so they're, they're, they've moved up a little bit. Shields, however, is really far up. When that gets to the top, um, he gets better at doing that. And then, if he crews that particular bit, he, it, it increases the system. Obviously, if it's things like... Um, repair and fighting then he gets better at doing that so your crew gain it no, I guess it's experience in in doing what they are actually doing from day to day life so this guy he, he gets better at shooting yep uh, she gets better at um, driving I guess yeah he's better at shields and he's better at um, well he's making cups of tea at the moment because he's done nothing much else and walking from there to there so he, he's good at that uh, rebel automated scout this is fine this should be absolutely easy because he because for whatever reason, they thought they'd send an automated scout into an area with no shields. I'm not even going to fire! Look, I'm going to turn the weapons off. Turn the weapons off. I'm just going to wait. There we go. Didn't even fire a shot. <laughs> well, that was the easiest one I've ever done. <laughs> that 
That is the easiest fight I've ever had in this game. You spot a small rebel ship nearby. It seems to have been refitted for transport rather than combat. It does not seem to want to engage your ship. Uh, demand the surrender of their goods. Yes. Prepare to secure the cargo by force. Too right. Yeah, oh, good grief. They've got loads of weapons. Oh, there you go. You can see that my sensors actually show you inside of their ship now. So we know that they're manning the weapons, the shields, and the pilot seat. What I'll do... I better turn the weapons back on, actually. That's probably a good idea. Uh, let's fire against their shields and weapons. There you go. You can see that when I've damaged here, because I hit there, I can actually see their crew. So he's, he's only on 70 health of 100 now. Hmm. So it is a valid tactic to actually just kill the crew if you wanted to. Not that I'm going to do that. Well, that's a good start. They've got fires there. That weapon's off, and they're trying to put that fire out. Uh, keep firing. Why not? I'm going to blow up the O2 as well. Oh! <laughs> I shouldn't laugh at that, but... <laughs> Here, in case you missed it. <laughs> yeah, that... that <laughs> If you think you're having a bad day, I think he's having a worse one, to be honest with you. <laughs> Taking a missile to the face is not a good thing. <laughs> Bye, guys. Right, let's jump to the next distress call. See what's here, see what's about. Uh, follow the distress break into a small asteroid belt. You find a small ship struggling to maneuver through the field. A message you help. Our shields are down and don't know how much longer it will last. Try and shield the ship. Why not? Let's do the good thing. Uh, despite your best efforts, the civilian ship breaks apart from the constant barrage. Um, and I, and I got 15 scrap, but lost some hull. Uh, it was a good, it was a good trade-off. Uh, right, let's go to, let's go on the nebula, let's have a look. It's hard to see why, but this beacon is apparently a tourist destination. <laughs> Alright then, I'll go with that. <laughs> Fair enough. One of the ships at the small station is offering a deal. Uh, give them one fuel for four missiles. That's a good deal. Yeah, two right? Yeah. Actually, I'm running low on fuel, but it doesn't matter. Um, let's go at the exit. Abandoned space station circles, a lonely planet. Quick check yields schematics for a drone you bring it aboard the ship on 16 scrap. Okay, so we're doing pretty well, actually. Holy crap, our weapon is just floating in space! 22 scrap and a whole smasher laser. Oh well. <laughs> Why not? I'll take it. I'll have that. <laughs> oh, um. That, that's not a sign you really want to be reading, to be honest, is it? No, no fuel. I should have really checked. Who is keeping an eye on the fuel gate? Why weren't you? Emma! Again, Emma letting me down! You should be- Right, look, I told you, when- when the- when the dial, right, goes into the red and there's red lights flashing, uh, tell me. Um, I, I mean, I know this bit up here uh, also told me, but I, I wasn't really paying much attention. It's your fault, it's not mine. Oh, uh, what I'm gonna do then, I'm gonna upgrade my weapons by one, turn the atmos off, put the hull laser on, 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 no. Engines down, there we go, right, weapons. I've got- I've got more weapons now. I've got a hull laser, and, uh... Uh, what I'm gonna just have to do is wait. This this is gonna be good. Okay, here we go. A ship approaches. They hail you saying, You need some fuel? We're prepared to dock to help. I can either accept their offer, request they keep the distance, or in this blue bit here, long range scanners run a detailed scan before responding. The blue bits are optional ones based on either crew you have or a special set of circumstances or a spe special piece of equipment that you have on your ship. Um, in this case, I'm going to do that. Since you can get the ship without military grade weaponry, even small arms, you allow them to dock and they give you some fuel saying, Remember the time when we don't have to be power. Okay, yeah, so apparently they didn't like me scanning them, but I got seven fuel, so I couldn't care. Run away! Alright, I'm at the station. Let's just buy some fuel. There we go. Oh, look at that. Ooh, heavy laser too. Ooh, that, look, that, look, that looks pretty. Um, I could sell. I could sell one of these and get one of them. No, I don't have the money, do I? Ah, uh, oh, I should have been worried. I should have been worried. Right, okay, pause. Every, bo both of you kill that mantis. Right, things aren't going overly well, I'll be honest. Um, They, they have uh, a mantis aboard the ship. Oh, no, no, he's just gone. He's just gone, which is good. Um, they've got drones, they've got shields, they've got weapons, um, this is, this, this might not, this might not go well, really. Oh, there you go, see that, there you go, see that little icon, if I go him, he has leveled up in shields, oh god, that's not good. I mean, I mean, the shield thing's good, but, uh, they've just taken out all my door control, which is, which, which is not overly great. Oh, and he's just, oh, and he's just, uh, got good at guns as well. Excellent. So, my accuracy should have, my accuracy should have increased. Um, I, you know, I should just be better. The recharge rate should have increased. I'm still getting cut up, but, uh, you know. See, one of the good things about increasing the sensors is that I can see all the flame and death on their ship. Um, not, that's not really a nice thing, is it, actually? Um, I'm gonna target him. Hopefully I'll kill him. Yep, I killed him. Oh, he's all ship blew up, actually. 
Right, let's just jump to the exit and run away. Okay, so there's a ship here as well, so I'm gonna have to fight this. Uh, here we go. Bit of bit of a bit of a recurring theme here. Fire, put the fire out. Fire is burning. Um, things aren't really going well. I'll be totally honest with you. Uh, fire, just fire, fire. Keep firing everything. Uh, you repair that. Oh, uh, okay. Double repair that, and then run away. Um, my ship is really damaged. Um, and I, oh, there we go. I, I need to close them because it's leaking atmosphere. But uh, I can't because the dark control is damaged. How about put the fire out? How about yeah? How about that? Right, everything is repaired. Next sector, go. Uh, civilian or rock? Uh, civilian. Civilians should be friendly. Right, I'm pretty sure I said civilians should be friendly. This is not friendly. This is the opposite of friendly. In fact, they're actually trying to kill me, and I've just lost a crew member. Okay, this this is just just ah, this is not going overly overly well. Um, if I'm totally honest, my hull is running well. A little bit low, maybe. Yeah, I think a little bit low. Um, good job I uh, dodged that last one and um, gained some experience for it. Otherwise, this ship, um, well, it could blow up any minute. Oh, what that, what that is there? You can see this one here. Uh, it's all um, in blue. That means it's just been hit by um, an ion weapon. Ion weapons just disable the system but don't destroy it, which you know it's disabled for uh, four rotations of that. Um, not overly great, really, since it's the oxygen system. Although it could be even worse, it could be in the shield generator. This isn't good. No! And they jumped away as well! Why? Game over. One last explosion marks your fate as your ship is torn apart. Score 1,630. I'm pretty sure that number is how many times I've died in this game. And you know what? I just don't care. The game is still amazingly fun. It really doesn't. It doesn't matter when you die. The thing is, it's all a learning experience, and you you know you get to try again. It means you don't get bored of the same old thing. I mean, th this tactic was just one of several. I mean, I've I've been, I was just using guns here. I mean, you can do one with just drones with iron weapons. Uh, you can do one with boarding. You can do one using fire to kill all their crew. There's loads of ones, and I might show you that. Uh, I might I might do more videos of this if if that's something you want. Then let me know. Um, the game is available right now on Steam, on GOG, and on their website GOG or Good Old Games, however you want to say. Uh, like I say, and on their website as well. Links in the description for that. Hope you'll check it out. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Take care and goodbye.